The identifiable victim effect is our brain's tendency to feel great compassion for individuals, but indifference for groups of individuals. Hi, I'm Graham Newell. My speeches and webinars show you how to use the latest brain science insights to avoid costly mistakes. Click subscribe and the bell below to see more of my videos. On the night of October 16th, 1987, the entire world held its breath. 18-month-old Jessica McClure fell 22 feet down a dark shaft while playing in her aunt's backyard near Midland. Dozens of emergency workers sprung into action, digging a tunnel. But could they get to little Jessica in time? There she is. She's got a bandage on her head, Tracy, from what I can see. I see her eyes open, I think. It was amazing just how quickly the whole world responded. Jessica's family received almost a million dollars in donations, and a TV movie was made. Stories like Jessica's touch our deepest emotions, which triggers our generosity. But giving like this is not a zero-sum game. Some gifts are exponentially more powerful than others. It's wonderful Jessica's life was saved, but if those dollars had been spent on something less emotional, say, for example, providing basic health care for kids, hundreds of children could have been saved. The identifiable victim effect lures us to care too much for things we can easily visualize and ignore the suffering caused by things that are out of sight. The problem is that stories about things like public health, environmental impact, and economic prosperity are kind of dull topics. They tend to focus on statistics, not individual people. But these business and government topics have striking life or death consequences for thousands of people. Around the same time as Jessica's rescue, a multinational wildlife team spent millions to rescue three whales trapped in the Arctic ice cap. Yet all the while, the Japanese whaling industry was spending millions to locate and slaughter thousands and thousands of whales. Keep the identifiable victim effect firmly in mind when you feel inspired to give. It's those dull topics like providing clean water and basic sanitation that have the most life-defining impact. Right now, I'm working on another video on how cognitive biases tempt us to make bad choices. If you'd like to be alerted when that video is completed, just click on my face below to subscribe. And be sure to click that alert bell, too. And I've created tons more videos on how brain science can help you make smarter choices. Click on the box right here to see that full playlist now. I'm Graham Newell, and that's Better Decisions Through Brain Science.